sir what is going on youtube it's your boy denali aka don squally we in reverse actually right now man so i'm just gonna go forward here we back at it man with another youtube video uh forza horizon 3 is the game that we are playing today actually forza motorsport 7 we just had a trailer come out this weekend for that also a new need for speed game uh new trailer i believe payback is what that was called man lots of new games coming out car related you know me that's pretty much all that we do on this channel but before we get started with this video and all of the requests um last yesterday actually my mistake we had an auction man so i just want to go through the auction list give a big shout outs to all these people who went ahead and bought your boys cars out here man now i was thinking uh no bids on that one unfortunately nine grand folks you guys are slipping man um unfortunately though but what i'm thinking is from here on out, we'll probably do an auction like at least once a month just so I can offload some of these cars. Like half of these things I never drove. That's pretty much why I wanted to do this auction to also give you guys an opportunity to get some of the cars that we build here on the channel. Um, so if you guys want to see more auctions, let me know down in the comments section. But for today's video, we have a request for a specific build uh, coming from Bryant Payne, Kentucky Boy. Noah Gabro, Noah Gabro, and Tap Out 1019 all want to see a trophy truck build. Now we're starting out here in this very dope Ford F-150, and I did kind of try to do a trophy tr uh, trophy truck build uh, way back in the day. And it turned out pretty good, but that was quite a while. And what I want to do here is kind of switch it up a little bit. So I'm just going to search for the off-road vehicles here. And I think the class we're going to want to be in is either extreme off-road or off-road. So I'm just going to skim through a couple of the options here. And you can see we already have a couple of trophy trucks that are already made here. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do is probably pick an off-road vehicle here and turn it into a trophy truck. Now the vehicle i think i'm gonna do is the nissan titan warrior now when this thing first came out i actually did a build on the channel but it was more kind of a street truck so i think for this one we're probably gonna do a trophy truck style build so right off of the bat what i think we're gonna do is obviously use the manufacturer silver here you guys know me i like to start out using the manufacturer colors we're gonna go ahead and buy this thing up now, last time I did the Nissan build, uh, what happened was there was actually a glitch with the tires that when you upgraded the tires, it actually added 5,000 pounds. So I'm hoping that they fix that. If not, we're going to have to stick with this stock set of wheels here. We're going to figure that out in a minute. Uh, now, as far as powertrains go, a 2.6 liter twin turbo, which looks like an RB26 from the R34, or a 6.2 liter V8. Now what I think I'm gonna do with this one since the last Nissan, uh, uh, what is this, Titan Warrior concept build that we did, I actually took the diesel engine out and a lot of guys were kind of upset about that. Um, so we're gonna leave the diesel engine in on this one. I am, however, gonna put all the power to the rear wheels. Um, just in my mind, I have a feeling that most trophy trucks uh, would be rear wheel drive just just to get the power down to the ground a little more. I Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments section. Um, but I think for the for this build, I'm going to want to keep this rear wheel drive simply for the fun aspect, man. Um, and as you can see, we have the nice trophy truck rear end. So that is definitely going to be going on there. And I'm assuming we're going to have some sort of snorkel. Oh, a light bar up top. Why not, man? Let's go ahead and add that up there. Um, now, here's where the tires and the wheels come into play now. The tires were not the issue. It was, in fact, the rims. Now, I'm hoping, like I say, with the last couple of updates that Forza has put out, that that has actually fixed itself. And as you can see, it definitely has, has not fixed itself whatsoever. You can see upgrading the rims drastically brings down the acceleration and the launch. And as you can see, it's because of the weight adding 5,000. What's the stock wheel weigh here? Uh, oh, it doesn't say I'm not too sure can we get a weight without these crazy wheels on them okay let's try to go back here and see if we can check that weight 3,000 so it adds 2,000 kilograms not sure what that is in uh, pounds but definitely 
definitely going to have to uh, leave these wheels stock, but we can always upgrade them. So I think that's what we're probably going to do is just upgrade the wheels. Um, the stock wheels as they are, they still look pretty rugged though. I think we're going to be able to make it work. Um, now as far as the clutch goes, going to upgrade that. Transmission, probably going to leave the transmission the way that it is. I think this thing has like a 7 speed or something like that. Uh, what is this? A power stroke, I believe, in this thing. Um, my mistake. That's definitely a Cummins in here. And, um, you know, out of all the engines, the diesel engines, um, I think the Cummins is probably the most uh, desirable. I'm not really a truck guy, but I got to say the Cummins seems to be that mo uh, the engine that most people like i know a lot of ford people i've seen some videos on youtube these ford guys dumping cummins into the fords you know what i mean so there's got to be it's got to be something up with that um but yeah man we're gonna keep it moving now as far as the weight reduction goes we're definitely gonna take care of that as you can see helps the acceleration and launch quite a bit even though we're still rocking a rear wheel drive drivetrain i'm interested to see how this thing moves um as far as upgrades go, man, I'm just going to fully upgrade this thing. Now that we got the weight all figured out with these wheels, I'm interested to see. Actually, I'm pretty sure that I did do the diesel engine, and then I went back and I put the gas engine in it because it was just super sluggish. And then people were like, in the comments, Don Squally, man, the weight, the weight, the rims. Um, some people called me an idiot. Like, I should have known that the wheels were going to add 2,000 extra pounds, but... You know, we got it dialed in, figured out now. So I think we're probably going to max out the diesel, see how it does with this weight set up here. So we're going to go ahead, buy that with credits, $54,000. And then we're going to back it up. Now, as far as the tuning goes, I'm not going to get too crazy. Alignment's going to actually, with these trophy trucks, we're going to get a little crazy. Put some crazy camber on the front. Um, you know, some serious suspension travel. We're going to soft, soften everything up quite a bit. And um, I'm going to probably mess around with the suspension quite a bit. Lower the back just to give it a nice, uh, not really rake look. What do they call that? Squatted, I believe the trucking uh, community calls that. And the dampening, springs, everything looks good here. Differential all the way up. And I'm pretty happy with that setup right now. Now let's see how this thing is sitting. Um, jump into the designs and paint section uh, now one thing I do want to do is actually find a kind of a racing design here so I'm just going to skim through a couple of our options here until I find something that suits our uh, you know Baja trophy truck style build here now I think out of all the skins here I searched quite a few I really like the Rockstar Freeze. Um, I got to admit, I am a Rockstar guy over Monster, so I think the Rockstar Freeze is probably going to be our best bet for this one. Even though I don't necessarily care for the wheel color, um, you know, we're, we're, we're going to keep it moving with this one, man. I kind of like the, uh, the overall theme of this truck. And I think once we get out on the road, man, this thing's really going to make an impression. Uh, so let's go ahead and take it to the street. Now, first and foremost, before we get started, we're going to do a little bit of a 360. And as you can see, this thing is looking icy, man. Two spare tires in the back. That diesel engine, man, I got to say, sounds like a bus, man. But uh, let's see if we can spin those back tires. Should be over 1,000 foot-pounds of torque, I believe, in this thing. It's weird, man. Like, I'm still having the same effect as I did when I first got out on this thing. We're going to take it off-roading, though. Maybe it's just the torque that really pulls you through the dirt and the sand and everything like that. Because right now, I'm like, this thing isn't entirely that fast, man. It's like the, the, the same thing that happened the last time I built the Titan on the channel. I went back and I put a V8 in it, man. I was like, this thing is really weird, man. Um... Fifth, let's see, six, six gears. Okay, I was mistaken. I thought this was a seven speed for some reason. Um, actually, what's weird about it is in six gear, there's still an incredible amount of pull. Let me see. Maybe in a higher gear, it just... No. It, I mean... 
Maybe it's because I have the gearing all messed up. Let's go through and see if we can change up the gearing here. Oh, let's see. Tune car gearing and put a little bit more towards the acceleration. No, actually, we can't do that because we're almost topped out in sixth gear there. All right, let's see if we can get a little bit more top speed going with this thing because the gears seem really close together. It just sounds very quiet. I don't know. This is just unusual for me man like i'm pretty sure the only time that i've ever even driven this thing or the other one that i built is when i did the build and it's just been sitting in my garage since man now as with a diesel you'd expect it not to rev up very much now um i actually drive a dodge 2500 uh work truck at where I work and it's got a Cummins in it and I gotta say man with it not it does barely revs past three and a half grand so when you're actually stepping on it it it's just like the shifts are so they come so early you know what I mean and um, definitely not a race car by any means but you know definitely a hauler man when you got stuff in the back of it, it it'll pull it like nothing happened so uh, Definitely a workhorse, this thing. Not so much a trophy trophy truck, but uh, let's take it out to the training ground, as I like to call it. Where are we here? Over here to the gravel pit. Take it for a nice off-road romp. Now, I love coming here. I call this the testing ground, just because there's, uh, you know, with the pylons, when you don't hit them, they're really good for, you know, the, to keep a, a smooth line. Also, lots of little obstacles and jumps in here. I just love this area in Forza, man. You'll find me bring, like, if it's a rally build or an off-road build, more, more often than not, I'll for sure bring it here for testing, man. I almost forgot with this build, though, man. I mean, as a trophy truck, I would like to see it have a little bit more RPMs. Like, even though the thing is still hauling some serious ass, it doesn't feel like it. It's it's so smooth and the engine doesn't make any noise. As far as the rear wheel drive goes, I kind of like it, man. It still pulls nicely. You can still do some nice drifts when you want to. Third gear, breaking or loose. That's a good sign, man. That is, it, you know, this thing's not entirely terrible. Oh, I thought that was a doorway for some reason. I was like, is it? Is it not? No, it was not. Definitely not. This thing is actually not entirely bad. I think where it really makes up is that torque. As you can see, third gear. Just pulling serious ass. Pulling. Do you pull ass or haul ass? We're hauling ass, folks. Not, not, not a terrible build when you're not crashing into things, man. To be honest, I kind of like this one. Uh, what are we looking at here as far as the time goes? About 18 minutes unedited. Oh, not looking at the road there. That's what happens, folks. Keep your eyes on the road. Uh, so what I think we might do here is pull off somewhere and uh, take our little thumbnail screenshot. And uh, probably put an end to this video. Um, I wish I could make these videos an hour long, but unfortunately with rendering and, uh, you know, you know, we got to keep them a little bit short, a little bit short just for the, uh, you know, the viewership. That way we can kick out more videos, man. Um, but if you guys did enjoy this one, don't forget to smash that like button. If you guys want to see more and you're not subscribed yet, definitely uh, go down, smash subscribe. We got videos coming every single day uh, of the week. We're waiting for a new racing game to come out, man. I feel like we've been really uh, playing a lot of Forza. Still love it, but I personally need a change of pace. So I'm looking forward um, to the new Need for Speed and the new Forza Motorsport 7. Whichever I know Need for Speed, they said, was coming out September 22nd. So if Forza beats them to the punch, man, or Forza doesn't beat them to the punch, I should say. You guys might see some Need for Speed on the channel. 
Um, but as always, I am your boy Dinali, aka Don Squad. I just want to say thank you guys for watching. And we're gonna catch y'all mofos at the next one, man. Peace. Ooh, recovery of a lifetime. Oh fuck! Oh no. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Keep on rolling there. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry about the race or anything.